Hey everyone, welcome to today's Amazon Home product review. We are starting off strong with all of the kitchen items. I have so many things to share with you guys. It's gonna be a little bit of a series. So today is gonna to be kitchen. My next video is going to be about bedding. Then I have one for home decor and a few fashion accessories. And then there's gonna be one for all of my plant loving peeps out there. So if you are not subscribed, I would love if you considered subscribing, ringing that little notification bell so you can get notified every time I upload a video and so you don't miss all of this great Amazon finds that I found. Okay. We are starting off strong with a strong cup of coffee. I have actually not made my cup of coffee yet. I was waiting to film this video so we could make it together. If you are a coffee drinker, you know there's always a search for like your basic standard countertop coffee maker that's affordable, that doesn't die on you in like a year or two. And I think I have found the solution. This one by Hamilton Beach, I've had for five years. I've bought multiples of these to put in my Airbnb properties. And my favorite thing about this coffee maker is that it is a two-way brewer. So you can make a regular standard you know, pot of coffee. You can also make a single cup of coffee without using pods. So there's zero plastic waste. This can totally replace your Keurig. It did for me. You don't need to buy any more pods. You don't need to have all of the single use plastic. This thing is great and it makes a really amazing single cup of coffee. Let me show you how it works right now. So you just get whatever vessel you're gonna be brewing your coffee into, fill it up with water, lift up this little thingy right here, pour your water in, and then you put your ground coffee in here. And it's done. Just gonna add a little bit of oat milk and we're good to go. Speaking of oat milk, this Chobani and the extra creamy, delicious. Perfection. We're gonna get to this Ember mug here in just a second. This is my beloved Ember mug. I'm having a love affair with this. So if you like your coffee to be cold and you like cold brew, you guys, this is the best cold brew coffee maker I've ever used. I used to have one where it was kind of like a French press where you put the grounds in the middle, let it steep, and then you press it. No, this is by far the best. So here's the base stand. This thing goes on top. You put quite a bit of coffee in here and your little rainmaker lid goes on. You let it brew for 12 to 24 hours. And then you put this little beaker thing in here, press the button down and it drains out all of your cold brew. I don't know, there is just something very special about this cold brew coffee maker. It's just, it's amazing. It's the best I've ever used. It's not too expensive. It's sturdy plastic, so you can like, when you're getting out the grounds, you can really bang it against the trash can or your compost pile. And the coffee to go with it. The Stone Street cold brew coffee, delicious. All of their flavors, amazing. This one is the chocolate hazelnut, but my favorite is the caramel nut. It, there's just, it's amazing. You can also buy um, just regular coffee at the grocery store, but you ask them to grind it to cold brew grounds. They're a little bit coarser. They're not gonna be as finely ground as like a regular drip coffee pot. I'll show you. It's just ground a little bit coarser, so you can definitely get coffee from your regular grocery store and just have them grind it in cold brew ground. And just do it that way. Let's talk about my unhealthy obsession that I have with my Ember mug. <laughs> you guys, this is the bougiest coffee cup on the market. This is like bougie. It's like kind of too bougie for me, but this was the only thing on my Christmas list this past year because there, on the inside, there is a heater on the bottom of this thing. Now I did invent this in my head like 10 years ago, but didn't really know how to bring it to market, but somebody else did, the Ember company did. And I am so, so grateful for that because I'm the type of coffee drinker that pours my cup in the morning, sit it on my desk, and then it kind of gets cold and then I'm reheating it in the microwave like 10 times. And then by that time, the coffee just tastes burnt and gross. This, with the internal heater, keeps it hot for like 90 minutes. Or you can just like, this is a little charging base, you can keep it on the charging base, like on your desk, and it'll keep it hot for like hours, like multiple hours. I haven't really done that feature, but keeping it hot for 90 minutes is perfection for me. Also download the Ember Mug app. I would highly suggest doing that because you can control the temperature of your coffee or your tea or your latte, whatever you got in here from the app. You can also, there's like a little, 
custom color thing down here where if you have a household with multiples of these, you can change the color of your mug so you know whose is whose, but I'm the only one in this household who has one, so I don't really need to do that. But it's kind of a fun feature if you do want to do something like that. But love it. It is pretty pricey, but it is totally, totally worth the investment. Something to know, do not put this in the dishwasher because there is like technology down here that can't go in the dishwasher. And then when if you wash it and you put it back on the charging port to charge, make sure the bottom is dry before you put it back on the little charging thing. And it'll make your mug last longer, but I love this thing. Highly, highly, highly recommend for yourself, for a Christmas gift, for an anything gift. It's great, love it, can't recommend it anymore. Segwaying into my next item, if you wanna compost your coffee grounds, this is a great way to do it. This is a really cute countertop composting bin. Love this thing, it's super easy to clean out. And it comes with two of these extra filter things. The filter does a really good job of keeping out any sort of like gnats or bugs and smells. So composting bin, love it, love it, love it. It's like a little pail, it has a handle. So if you wanna take it outside to like a bigger composting area, you can do it pale style. So cute, right? Let's talk about a few cleaning items. So I bought this, it's a five pack bottle brush bristle set on Amazon for $10. You guys, there's this like huge one where you can get inside big thermoses. There's a straw one. This, I love, this one's probably my favorite for getting into like thermos style bottles. Then there's a little foamy one that you can do glassware, like wine glasses with. Then there's this little tiny one. Not really sure what you use this one for. I have used all of these. They are very, very sturdy. This one's my favorite. This one is for the straw is a little bit big. So if you have bigger straws, these are perfect for you. But if you have like the little tiny, um, like stainless steel straws, the, the, this is not really gonna fit in there. You're gonna do a smaller one. What this is actually really great for is to clean those really hard to reach like deeper areas. I have used this to clean my sink drain. I will let my sink soak in baking soda and vinegar. And then once I rinse that out, I'll just use this little guy and clean out in the sink drain. It's perfect. I would say if you are going to use this for your straws, I would keep it for your straws. Or if you're gonna use it for the sink, I would keep it for your sink drain. I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't personally put it in the drain and then put it in a straw. Just saying. Now let's talk about some cleaning cloths. Now I have talked about these style of Swedish dishcloths here before on my channel. I love them, I've raved about them. These are going on about a year, maybe two, and they are starting to break down, which is what they're supposed to be. They're compostable. Um, so when you clean with these, it kind of leaves behind fibers, which is not ideal for like when you're cleaning the front of the fridge and there's just like little fibers everywhere. So it's time for these to go in the compost bin and, <laughs> and then order some more. So once the Swedish dishcloth started breaking down on me, I was searching on Amazon for another kind of sustainable cleaning rag and I couldn't find anything. There's like nothing really out there. If you guys know of any more like sustainable cleaning rags, let me know. Um, but I did break down and buy some microfiber cleaning rags and I'm gonna tell you why these ones are so much better than these ones in just a second. So microfiber is not the best thing for the planet. Um, and then also when you're cleaning with microfiber rags like these guys, hair and dust just is like a magnet to them. So when you're cleaning a shower and there's like hair, it gets stuck on the microfiber and doesn't come off. Like you try to rinse it in the tub or in the sink and then it's just on there and it drives me crazy. Having, it's the grossest feeling in the world to me. So these come in a pack of 24 on Amazon. There are eight of each color, gray, pink, and green. They are quite large. They are 12 by 16. I mean, they're your pretty standard microfiber towel. If you are a big fan of microfiber towels, then I would say this is a really great deal. You get 24 of these for 15 bucks. So that's an option for you. But these guys, right here. Now these are by the brand Sophisticlean on Amazon, specifically the ones that say Sophisticlean stainless steel microfiber. These ones I have found do not catch the hair. Like the hair will actually kind of like rinse out of them. So if you are looking for microfiber cleaning rags, I highly recommend these over the Amazon Basics. The, the Amazon Basics one are a little bit more like scratchy feeling they're plushier but they're also like catchy 
These are definitely softer. And the size, these are quite a bit smaller. They're like 11 and a half by 11 and a half. They come in a 10 pack for 10 bucks. You get five of the dark gray, five of the light gray. I mean, if you're gonna go the microfiber route, I would recommend these guys. Let's talk about some oven mitts. These were the ones that I mentioned in my home goods haul that I posted not too long ago. Love these, super farmhousey. love the gray on gray. These are from Big Red House on Amazon. They're kind of dirty. I do use them quite often, but you get a set of two of them for 14 bucks. The thing I love about it is the, like the shiny part are silicone grippies. So you're not going to drop your hot tray when you're taking it out of the oven. And they do come down pretty far on your arm. So you're not going to burn your arm right here. Like if you accidentally touch the rack. So these are a great, super basic option for 14 bucks. This little three pack set right here is from Mia's Dream on Amazon. You get all three pieces for 10 bucks. My only issue with it is it's kind of small. It doesn't really go down very far. The, I, I do have really big hands, but the, it's just, it's a little bit small. It's a little small, but it is super cute. It definitely fits with a farmhouse vibe. If you just wanted to have these hanging up on the wall as backup, you can use them as like, you know, set hot plates on. Super easy, very cute, super affordable. It's apron time. I had to flip you around so I can give you a little fashion show. This one is so cute. It's from D2 on Amazon. The neck piece is adjustable. It has kind of like a little French grain sack vibe going on, a pocket, and the things are long enough to where if you wanted to tie it around front and feel like a real chef, you could do that. Love it. <laughs> I've used this one quite a bit. I recently got this one and I have not used it a lot. It's all wrinkly because it's been sitting in a drawer crunched up. But this is a women's pinafore baking apron. I don't think I've actually used this at all. So this is gonna be first time try on haul together. Goes over like a jumper. It does have two pockets, but it like crosses in the back. Look at how cute. It's got little pockets. A pinafore baking apron. I actually really like the fabric on here. It is a linen cotton blend, super easy breezy. I can actually see myself using this in the garden more so than in the kitchen. Like when you're in the garden, you can collect all of your stuff, like all of your vegetables, put them in here and then go back into the house. So whenever I'm cooking or especially baking, I always like to have a little candle going play some Edith P off, but I always keep an electric lighter in the kitchen drawer. This one is from Radia Home on Amazon. It comes with a USB charger. And the best thing about having one of these long electric lighters is that when you have a deeper set candle or when your wicks are farther down, you're not trying to hold like a little flick lighter like this and try to get in there because sometimes you can burn your hand or you get one of the little wicks lit and then the other ones the wax starts melting before you can light the other ones. So you just turn on on the bottom, push this little lever up, and then a little electrical charge goes between the two prongs at the end. It's actually pretty fascinating technology and that's what lights your wicks. Awesome, easy peasy, flameless, it's safe. I just keep it right in my kitchen drawer. All right, let's talk about some food storage options. Now this is a 24 piece set from Rubbermaid. It's the Rubbermaid Brilliance plastic set. So you do get a variety of sizes. They all come with lids. They're all dishwasher safe, microwave safe, and all of the lids have this like rubber gasket. So when it seals on, you snap these little clippies in place and then it is like leak proof, it's air proof, it's sealed, it's spill proof. You get two of the big guys. These are 4.7 cups. You get two of these kind of shorter ones. These are 3.2 cups, same size lids. So the lids are interchangeable and they are stackable. You get four of these. These are 1.3 cups, same style lid with the gasket and the little snappies. And then you get four of the little half cup minis. I don't have any of those here to show you, but here is the lid. I made the mistake of having these available in my Airbnb kitchens for my guests to use. And then they mysteriously started disappearing. So don't make the same mistake I did. Um, don't have these in your Airbnb properties unless you're willing to 
part with them because people love them and they're gonna get taken. These things are great. Everything stacks on top of each other. They are perfect for meal prepping. Now let's talk about beeswax wraps. Now I love these things. These can totally replace your um, cellophane, your plastic wrap, your cling wrap, saran wrap in your kitchen. These are awesome. This one is big enough to kind of go around an entire plate. There's a medium one that is good for like a sandwich or leftover cheese. Then there's a little tiny one. You can tell which one I've used the most. That is great for going over like jars or glasses or cups, mugs, anything like that. Love these. These are from Loop Nova. I don't think they're making these anymore. And then my sister got me this set from like a little gift store, which is super cute. This one has like a tie where you can kind of make like a little envelope like that. So cute. So I will link a few options below from Amazon, but keep your eyes out. A lot of people are making beeswax wraps like this. They're perfect. You just kind of wash them off with like warm soapy water in the sink, let them air dry. You can reuse them like a million times. I've had this set for three, maybe four years, and they're still almost like brand new. So if you're looking to reduce your plastic use in the kitchen, definitely look at getting some beeswax wraps. All right, bear with me. If you made it this far, we got two more items to go. Okay, this rice cooker is freaking awesome. It is cool to the touch. You can do four cups of uncooked rice, but the best thing about this is you can set the delay. Here's your little enamel pot. There's a steamer in here. It comes with a measuring cup and a little spoon. You guys, the best thing about this rice cooker is that it is so compact. It fits in one of my drawers. I just tuck it all away, put it in a little drawer, can get it anytime I need. So you have all of your different settings here, white rice, brown rice, steam, all of that kind of good jazz. But my favorite thing about this is that you can set the delay. I mean, whenever I make rice, I kind of forget that rice takes quite a while to make. So I can just like prep it in the afternoon, set the delay for like five hours, and then it's done in five hours. But thing to know is when you set your delay, let's say for five hours, it's going to be done in five hours. It's not going to start cooking in five hours. Love this thing, compact, it's cute. Love it, love it, love it, love it. And the last thing I have to show you is this silverware set. Now I have bought these for all of my Airbnb properties. It's the Ken International Kensington 51 piece silverware set. So you get little spoon, big spoon, little fork, big fork, knife, and then big like serving fork and spoon. And it's a set of eight. They have a really nice weight to them. The detailing along the bottom and along the necks is so nice. They are stainless steel, dishwasher safe. Love it, super easy. Okay. That's it. Whew, that was a lot of kitchen stuff to get through, but I hope you guys liked this video. If you do, please give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if you have any of this stuff, if you like any of this stuff, if there's any kitchen gadgets or things that you think that I would enjoy, leave them in the comments below. I'm always on the hunt for some good Amazon kitchen finds. But stay tuned because I'm gonna have some bedding, some homeware, some fashion, some plant garden stuff videos coming shortly. So thank you so much if you stayed all the way to the end of this video. Links will be listed in the description bar below. As always, if you shop through my links, I do get a little small commission and it does help support my channel. So thank you for doing that if you do do that. I really, really appreciate you guys. All right, I will see you all on the next one. Bye.